Hey guys, just come at you with another uh, mystery package unboxing, I guess. Uh, this is my latest delivery from eBay. You can see it's uh, from, from China. I started to unbox it and I suddenly realized that it was a bunch of spinners, so I have no idea what it is, but I just wanted to finish unboxing it with you guys so you can see what to expect from a uh, eBay seller who apparently is a very good eBay seller. I, whenever I get a package like this where they have gone to the trouble of wrapping everything twice like this, I can really expect good quality spinners. So let me pull this out of the package and I'll finish unwrapping it for you if I can. This thing is this thing is very, very well packed, well padded. These guys really cared about the the customer and making sure they got their delivery in one piece because these things do get beat up pretty bad when shipped from China. We're talking about going, you know, across the ocean in an airplane. And with if you've seen any of the uh, complaints about air air handling, uh, the complaints about the way luggage is handled at the airports, you would know what I mean. So, so look, this thing came with extra padding around it. That none of the boxes are loose, as opposed to the last delivery I got, where the boxes were just thrown into a, a poly bag or a padded, a semi-padded bag, I'd call it. And some stuff arrived smashed. Some stuff arrived with dents and dings on the bearings, so that the bearings would not spin on the outer lobes. And that's the guy. And hey, look, they're pink. They're pink. I don't know how hard it is to get pink spinners, but apparently they're getting the formula right. That's the problem I ran into when I ordered my first pink spinners back in back in February of this year. They told me that the formulation for the color of pink was not doing well when they made it, when they put it in the mold, and it would cause the frames to be weak. And the frames would crack very easily if dropped. Oh, there's some green ones. Green, too. I'm sorry this is taking so long. <laughs> but this guy really, really made sure that my stuff was going to be delivered on time and in one piece. So, yeah, these, these guys... Uh, unfortunately, like, like all deliveries I've gotten from China these guys did not put a bill of lading in with the spinners so I really don't know who sent them to me I'll have to go back to my eBay orders and try to figure it out <laughs> and I do order quite a bit off eBay so I may have trouble finding the order and figuring out who sent them to me but it shouldn't be too hard I mean I've only ordered one spinner of this particular shape. This is the first one I've gotten. It's a little bit bigger than I had hoped. I was actually hoping for a smaller spinner so that it would be made for, for smaller hands. That's one thing I'm looking for now. I've had a lot of my friends ask me about kids uh, spinners for kids who are seven years old and younger. And these are obviously full-size spinners, maybe a little bit bigger than normal tri spinner and once again sorry this thing is loud I'll try to cut it as quietly as possible so yeah new kind of box box I haven't seen before it's kind of unusual if I can get the focus in there right the uh, Chinese they call these hand spinners we call them fidget spinners over here in the US I'm not sure what they call them in the UK probably fidget spinners there as well but if you want to find the Chinese manufacturers who are selling on eBay do an eBay search for hand spinner or finger spinner. They don't use the word fidget spinner that often, but some do there. So let's see, this looks like, <laughs> to me it looks like a pink flamingo that went crazy. <laughs> I'm not sure. But the bearings on the outer lobes feel nice and smooth. They don't feel like they're, they're locked up or dried out. Oh, unfortunately, it's missing a cap on the backside. So hopefully the cap is in the package someplace. Don't see it anywhere. Let's try a different one. Let's see if it was just a one bad mistake or one small mistake. Oh, it, this one does have caps on both sides of it. So, but at least you get to see that this one does have the newer R188 bearings in it. 
I can't tell if they're stainless steel or plastic or a ceramic. That's looking at the 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 post in there. You can see that it's the male post or the male side of the cap, so they're a little bit harder to get out of the center. Oh, the bearing came out too. Well, at least you know that the caps are well well fitted, <laughs> but I can't easily. I'm not going to pull that off. It's too hard to pull off right now. So I'll push it back in there. So this thing should spin pretty well. Oh yeah, it does. It spins nice. Can't hear a single whisper out of this thing. It's silent. Super, super silent. Just a tiny bit of feedback. The caps are pretty nice. They're, they're, they are concave. I don't know if you can see that, but they do have a curve to them. So that you can... It's easier to do tricks whenever you have a concave cap. Because it makes a little indentation spot for your finger. I was having a little bit of trouble getting it to balance just right since I'm in a hurry. <laughs> not taking my time, but uh, I'm not sure what you call these. I, I, I call them the pink flamingo <laughs> spinners. <laughs> that's, all, that's the first thing that came to my mind with a pink flamingo. And let's jump out here and grab a green one right quick. They don't feel like they're going to spin for four or five minutes. They might spin for a minute, minute and a half. They don't feel perfectly balanced. See, this, this one's already stopping after just, what, 10, 15 seconds. It may just need breaking in. It may have extra oil in the bearings because that pink one did spin pretty well. So it probably just needs to be broken in. Maybe it might even need a little bit of oil. I'm not sure. I have to, have to experiment and find out. But this was the first one. Let's see. So that one's obviously going to spin for a little bit longer probably closer to a minute for that one so yeah I'll give these the benefit of the doubt that they were actually just need to be broken in a bit this one probably just needs to be spun a bit to get to work out any of the oil that might be in the bearings so and I got a variety of, of uh, bearing colors so this one you see this one's got red bearings and this one's got yellow shields looks like the green ones are gonna be all yellow oh no there we go, there we go. Usually whenever I order these, I just ask, if they offer a variety of colors, I just ask them to send me a, one or two of each color so that I can try them all out. And you can see the, bar, the little barcode on there. I have no idea what that is. It's probably written in Chinese. And I don't have a Chinese keyboard, so I can't type it in to Google Translate and figure it out. I have heard that you can start, sometimes you can use pictures on Google and Google can search by picture but I'm not gonna try that so yeah there's the back of the package yeah I hope you enjoyed this these are most these are some of the most unusual spinners I've run across I do like the strobe effect on them I do like the fact that they're, they're silent they're pretty smooth spinning let me lay that one down right quick this one does feel like it's actually spinning a little bit longer now so it may just need to be broken in a bit get that extra oil out of the bearings it's still not spinning as long as the first one but I can work on that yeah so I hope you like this little unboxing uh, inexpensive spinners I'm not sure what they cost me I just got them today hadn't stopped to look up the uh, eBay listing to see what they actually cost me but they're probably somewhere in the the ten dollar range most likely so yeah I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing and I'll talk to you later